Now that we have done the installation, the next step is the post installation steps for the CPQ. So I am in the org where I have installed the managed package. Um, so you can see here we have the Salesforce CPQ package installed, which we did in the previous session. And here, if you see, we have something called namespace prefix that is SBQQ. Now, what happens is like with this SBQQ, all the names will be starting with SB, SBQQ uh, wherever, uh, like for example, for the fields, uh, for the rule, validation rules, for the triggers, uh, which is coming from this package. And let's see what is like they have like tabs tabs is like 25 and then objects like 84 objects are coming from this package so this is about the salesforce cpq package now let's see more into it so if i go to the object manager and go to product and go to fields and relationship so you can see the ones with sbqqq is the one which is coming from the uh, salesforce cpq management cpq package all of these and not only the fields if we are talking about the page layout that is also coming from the package and not only that example if we see a validation rule see namespace prefix is sbqq and installed packages since for cpq and then they have the whole validation rule and that is automatically coming and then uh, if we go to triggers let's go to one of them so see um it is again you can see that whether we have created it or if it is coming from another package or it is coming from sbqq so like that we can identify so all of this is coming from there now when we are talking about the page layout so we have to cp cpq product layout and product layout so if we want to see um, like layout related to cpq then we will be have we will wanting to have that particular layout. what i mean is that if we are going to for example products and we create new product so you can see here that it is normally having a normal product layout okay now that we want that uh, like as a system admin i should be able to see the cpq uh, layout what i need to see go is i need to go to the layout assignment and the assignment i need to set it up for that particular layout so i go to the account object and that i will be going to the page layout and see we have cpq account layout and training account layout so why i'm showing you this is because like if i go to the page layout assignment For system admin, right now it is having like a training account layout, and we can keep it as it is. Like if I go to the training account layout, you can see that it would be having um, Salesforce CPQ information as well, but it would be little different uh, from if we are going to the uh, Salesforce CPQ layout. So, for example, this one is. Um, let's go to that particular layout and we can compare as well so if i go to the cpq account layout the fields will be slightly different uh, so we have renewal code terms information account information so that is this is our cpq account layout and if i go to the cpq train there's a training layout so we will be having little different information so uh, we can so, so what happens is like if we are having that uh, package installed in the org so in that in the page layout will be like account layout and then we have to change it to cpq layout but here in that training layout they already have uh, um, like fields which are associated to cpq so we can keep it as it is so that is a difference 
um so we can uh, for now we can just keep it as it is but if we were uh, thinking about the um org where we were installing the package instead of uh, the cpq training org then we had to put the cpq layout for account contract for product and for the opportunities so that's how exactly it works um so now that we are good with this step we can move on to next step so let's see if i am i'm an admin right so if i go to the product and click on new so i'm in the cpq training org so we have product name product family cpu configuration uh, cpu products sections so these sections are already there in the training work so we don't necessarily have to change so that that's where you can understand the difference between if we are having the training org or if we are in, just installing a managed package in the in in the earlier uh, in, in the existing org if we are having uh, to install managed package in the existing org then we have to do some more setup like for example of page layout it will be normal account layout and we have to add the cpq layout in this case we can work with the cpq uh, we can work with the training layout or we can change it to account layout but uh, 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 the uh, like but the thing is that it also it's already set up with the cpq uh, fields so we don't necessarily have to change so the setup or the steps are lesser if we are able to have the uh, our own org